guys welcome to QA automated as we have seen how to set up selenium and next of course we want to start with writing our test cases but before that it is important to learn how we are going to launch our firefox or chrome browser on which we are going to run our test cases so this video is all about that and let's get started in last video we have created this uh, android studio project selenium setup in this uh, in uh, java folder i have created this package and here we need to add a new java class okay we will add this as a launch browser class okay so this class is added first uh, so as we we are going to see three important browsers in this video we need to download driver for firefox browser driver for chrome so this is the folder where i have downloaded all these three browsers uh, and to download this i have attached the link in the description folder so check that link and download these three browsers so after that we will write our first method public static public void sorry launch firefox so first we'll see firefox So this is the method but what we need actually is we are going to write test cases so we need to add this annotation add test this is junit annotation so this will when we run this method it will run as a test case so let's get started we have to create web driver object we have created here then we have to set the property with the path of selenium web driver so for setting this path first we need to give for which web driver we are doing web driver dot greco greco is the driver for firefox greco dot driver comma and second argument will be the path so let's copy the path from here not gig it's gig o and we have to copy this name uh, gecko driver dot exe so spelling mistake here we need to correct this okay then uh, for this driver we need to instantiate this driver so driver is equal to new firefox driver then we need to uh, get which url we want to open in this browser so for that uh, we will use my blog url here okay. qa automated made it dot com and uh, then this will uh, launch it but uh, we will add some timeout here so that it will wait for a few seconds so that you guys can see the uh, browser opening so we will wait here for uh, Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds is too much. I guess ten seconds. Time unit dot seconds. Okay. And then driver dot quit. This will close the browser which we just launched. Once we write this, you have to double click on this test case, right click, and then run launch Firefox browser. Okay, this launches the browser now. 
and it will open our website qautomated.com and after 10 seconds it will close the website automatically guys uh, the important thing is uh, here if you run this and if you face problem like session is not created that kind of exceptions then use a gecko driver 14 version not 15 version 14 version it works perfectly fine with uh, uh, with firefox browser above 47 version okay then next we will move out to chrome browser so launching chrome browser we, i'm making changes to this test case itself it will save us some time so instead of gecko here it will be chrome uh, then we have to give the path of the chrome driver which we have already recorded so go to okay chrome driver so this this path we have to replace and replace this with chrome okay now uh, let's execute this okay sorry here also we need to make changes as a chrome driver to import that okay now execute it So it launched it, it opened the website for 10 seconds and it will close it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback or if you want any particular topic on which I should make video, you can write that all in the comment section. Do subscribe my channel so that you won't miss the next uh, upcoming videos. And also click on that notification icon beside the subscribe button so that you will be notified via an email that I have uploaded a video. Plus, if you like this video, click on like. This encourages me a lot. Thanks guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.